so well the u.s government the democratic party has a large amount of wokest republic uh, wokest congressmen some of them are indians actually premila jaipal very serious person uh, and you know the the lobby that is uh, turning caste into a form of racism is very strong and harvard has actually enacted uh, uh, policy that caste should be treated as race. So have many other universities. So this equating caste as racism is becoming almost a de facto uh, fa uh, standard in many places in uh, public life. So, and and this, uh, the effect of this is, wokeism is being projected onto India as a breaking India force. It's being brought into the Indian education system as liberal arts because foolishly the NEP 2020 introduced liberal arts of the Harvard variety and liberal arts of the Harvard variety is filled with wokeism and that's entered India. People in Niti Aayog are using these Harvard consultants, Harvard trained consultants and other American consultants for forming policies on all sorts of things in India. The Indian government and ministries often use American consulting companies and they're all trained in this sort of an idea and that is called bringing in wokeism in the name of ESG. ESG is a corporate buzzword in Mumbai. E stands for environment, S for social justice, and G for governance. So to improve social justice in your in your corporate environment, these kind of wokest ideas are being brought in through the HR department. And you see, once Silicon Valley institutionalized these things, it's going to have a mirror effect in their subsidiaries in India and other outsourcing companies in India, which the Americans use. And then from Silicon Valley, it's going to automobile, it's going to pharmaceutical companies. So Indian industry is going to go through a big shift with wokeism as an HR policy. That's pretty.